West Ham here, West Ham there, West Ham every where goes the song. You know, you know the rest of it. Uh, and today I'm absolutely delighted to be joined by one of social media's most prominent West Ham accounts from one of our African based Claret and Blue outposts. Uh, despite us being separated by nearly 5,000 miles, might be a bit more actually, of land and sea, or more specifically the Mediterranean Sea and the Atlantic Ocean, uh, the wonders of modern technology mean I'm fortunate enough to be able to bid a big KUMB welcome to Abdul, the president of the Ghanaian Hammers. Abdul, it's a real pleasure uh, to be able to welcome you to KUMB TV today, as I've been following your exploits via Twitter. Uh, for some considerable time now. I know I'm not the only uh, English-based hammer to do that. You've got quite a following. Uh, you guys are quite prolific uh, on Twitter, as I said, and are doing a great job of spreading the West Ham name over there in uh, West Africa. Um, unfortunately, it's, it's really cold and dull here in, in England right now, but how's the weather uh, 5,000 miles away in Ghana today? Yeah, it's very sunny. You know, it's, it's a typical African weather. The, the sun is shining everywhere you go, so the vicars are very full. <laughs> I mean, I'm insanely then, jealous. <laughs> it's it's yeah, snowing yeah, and then, here. It's, it's horrible. <laughs> and thank you, uh, mate, for all the introduction. We are very, I mean, grateful for the wonderful introduction that you get. It. Oh, it, very it, it's it's my pleasure. As I said, it's 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 a real pleasure to have you on the on the stream with us today. Um, so let, let's get into it a little bit because, uh, as as we as as many European fans and British fans know, Ghana is a real hotbed of football. But one thing we may not be so uh, knowledge about is how West Ham became to be uh, a team to follow in Ghana. Now, you know, you, you get a lot of Manchester United, Liverpool, Arsenal supporters in, in various parts of Africa. So yeah. why West Ham? How did, how did it become to be? Okay, thank you, mate. Um, the idea itself was conceived by me as the president of the Ghana Yeah. Um, way back 2010. That is like more than a decade now. Uh -huh. um, I was not much into foreign football um, because then um, the local league here was much, I mean, very participating. So yep. I was, um, <clears throat> excuse me, rather an um, Accra House of Oak fan. We have a team here that we call Accra House of Oak. So I was a fan and then I used to, I mean, cry watching their matches. But my mind wasn't on the European scene. Yeah. So later on, I said, okay, let me try the English football because the English Premier League was, I mean, yeah. Making a lot of noises here, you know, you see the Manchester United, the Liverpool, the Arsenal fans wearing their shirts and then, I mean, so when I was searching, my main base of searching was to see which team had some impact on the academic system. So okay. I see that West Ham came top, that uh, they produce at least some of these best players that we are thinking of. So I checked. And then I personally, Harry Renap was one of my best coaches. Okay. Right. But, uh, I used to admire him from far, so... So when I was checking, I checked that, okay, if Lampard and Co were groomed, if Jokol and Co were groomed, you, you get it. And then the academy system was such like that it was put in a very structured form. So I said, okay, then why don't I try West Ham to see? So when I tried it, it was a bit funny though, because it's not easy. <laughs> so people were just seeing me on my own social media account, writing about West Ham. First, I used to be on Facebook a lot. Yeah. So they would see me and then they would like, oh, come on, <laughs> do you know what you are doing? But the most important thing I realized from West Ham is that when I went and then I found that I found a club that I want to support, those yeah. trophies wasn't coming. I see that the thing wasn't like a club. It was more like a family. It was just look at you like this. Where you are, five, about how many miles away? What, from we, West Ham? I mean, oh, from you, 5,000 miles, yeah, yeah. 5,000 miles away, but yeah. you, I mean, you took your time to, to talk to a family member that is outside where you are, your jurisdiction is in Africa. So the same love I received from the social media, people were accepting me like uh, they know me before. Yeah. So I realized that, okay, sometimes this kind of thing, we don't choose to support West Ham. West Ham is part of us. So, yeah. so I began doing it from 2010, going to 2015. Yeah. I had only five members. <laughs> five members. And when I talk of five members, it is not just a fan. This was yeah. five dedicated members. <laughs> And, so, and who was that? Was that just you and some close friends, the five members? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess the people that are around. So some of them. Yeah. yeah. Not not all, but at least five of them that you are just seeing. So we were together and then uh, we were spreading the West Ham way. So yeah. later on, I guess they okay, come on. So uh, if we go through our piggies, we see that we have been on radio, TV here in Ghana, trying to put our our I mean our club on the map. So when I go on radio and TV, sometimes you see me with 
Chelsea, Manchester United, and the Liverpool fans. And I mean, the mix of them. So people are trying to figure out, what is this guy trying to preach on? <laughs> so others were accepting it because of my consistency. And then others were accepting it just because they were disappointed in one particular match or the other from their, what, so-called big club teams. Yeah. So it didn't go that well because where the five members were just constant. <laughs> but 2017, here comes a man. When I say yeah. a man, we had a very good personality. That was the former, what would I say, the former um, British High Commissioner to Ghana. He was a West Ham fan. So he was there also preaching West Ham, talking, and then later on, we got to connect. His name is Mr. John Benjamin. Right now, he's now the, the British High Commissioner to uh, Mexico. Yeah. So previously, he was the British High Commissioner to Ghana. So we got interacted and we went to him. We have never traveled to watch a match. Well, it was being a dream that uh, we would just watch a match at the Upton yes. Park, the yeah. bowling ground. But it never happened. Now we are at the London Stadium. So we just went there to just familiarize with things, how things went there. So when we went there, he showed us the structures and the things. At the end of the day, he gave us breaches and then stuff about West Ham. You get it? So when we had them, so I have to now come back and convince him. Will you now remember what I was telling you that uh, we were not many? So we're now going from five to 17. So yeah. from the 17, magically, Ghana is having more than 10 uh, cities. But we have able to cover four cities, namely Accra, which is the one, the greater capital. Yeah. Then we have Kumasi, the second capital, then Tamale, and then Wa. So we were there positioning about two people here, three people here forward. But now, my brother, I can tell you that we are now having about 364 wow. active Wow. What would I say? Dedicated yeah. members. <laughs> 364 dedicated members. Somebody, when you just say West Ham, you know West Ham. We're yeah. not talking about just a following. Yeah. So we have 364 fans as of 2022 now. That's incredible. But it didn't stop. It didn't stop there. Then I guess, okay, why don't I guess now do the corporate social responsibility, like giving back to the society? Though we are not having much. So we decided to go to uh, one of the places that we just went. So we just say, okay, then why would, don't we just give them a sentence? But I thought that Mark is one of the most influential captains that you can think of. Yes. 18 years now. Yes. So I said, okay, let's honor him, not even in London, but in Africa first. Who was saying first? Well, we want to honor him before the season ends so that yeah. nobody will just say they are honoring him. When they are honoring him, but we are putting the honor him before anybody that honors him. Yeah. So we build the center. Yes, it's a small distance. So we said the center will now be aiming at kids from six years to at least 14 years. You get it? Yeah. So we'll be preaching about what, what Mark has done. We'll download videos of him. We'll yeah. download stuff about him, his community works that he has done. So we'll just put them into DVD form and then they'll watch it. Because okay. we have this kid that some of them, they are doing something, but they are, they are giving up because they feel that it will not work in near them or they will not get benefit. But we want to let them know that somebody has dedicated himself for 80 years in the club and today we are in Europe. Yeah, you understand. So Mark to be, a, I mean, a, a mentor to them. But aside from that, the center will know will also be open for people to visit if you want, if they want to know what West Ham is about. You get it. So it's for Mark Noble Center, but it's also open up to the public. I think this is the summary I can give you from. Well, I used to use my own Twitter and Facebook yeah. for promoting this, but now we are now on almost all the platform that you see. So it's that is the work. That I've done for the past twelve years. Already. Well, it's 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 fantastic what you've managed to achieve to go from yeah. you know five members to three hundred and sixty four is is quite incredible, uh, and it's it sounds like you're doing a, a wonderful job of spreading the the West Ham name over there in in Ghana. But I, I wanted to yeah. just come back to the centre because this is something I wanted to ask you about. Um, okay. When uh, when when did you um when did you open the centre, Abdul? That, that's this is a fairly yeah. new thing, right? That's, that you've just done, and and oh, yeah. where did where did the funding for that come from, and exactly? Okay, um, it wasn't a, what was that, like, you know, when you are dedicated, you are passionate for something. Yeah. You can you even your sleeping room to what, to do it? Yeah. Um, this was a center that, uh, let me just say, it was a, it was just a, a, a showroom, or a shop. Okay. So while it was a shop, we just decided to go and rent it. So when okay. we rented, we just, members just contribute individually, just, okay, take this, take this, take this. So we took some small money together. And when right. I do the, the mural painting and things. But when we did it, we decided to say, okay, one of us was an artist. He, he can draw. So we allow him to do it for us. Then 
that place cost didn't come because he was able to draw. We only bought the painting. But we got the center for ourselves. We the opening it just this um, this November that just passed. So we decided to get it. But the official opening, we couldn't do any official opening because we can't get it. We will let Mark be here. But Mark is still playing so forth. Maybe one day we'll find him here. But we decided <laughs> to say, okay, what it is it is not all that done, it's just like net present done. What is yeah. needed is that like the this the picture of Mark Noble and then the colors of what Western. But we are now left with stocking, maybe to put a TV and then decks and things. So that is what we are now going, but we're going to raise funds. But okay. Let's, lo, and, lo, lo, lo and behold, let me cut you short. Lo and behold, um, we were able to be contacted by ex Western employee. Everyone know him. One of the portal that I was bringing was exclusive. So he said, because they are still raising funds for Isla. So yeah. they, want us, they want us to wait so that after the traffic is down, then maybe he'll see into it to see whether they can raise some funds to help the center. But the okay. center is operating, and then children are visiting to, to see what. Okay, it's. I, I mean, I, the, the artwork that you've got there is is absolutely incredible. I, I think it's tagged the the artist name. It, it's tagged by pencil. Is that correct? Is that the pencil, name they go yeah, by? Yeah, that's the name. Yeah, yeah. His name, we call him Pencil Man. Pencil yeah. Man. So just like you, like it will just give you. If you just give me your picture, yeah. it's gonna give you the exact picture of you. You see, okay. the picture was that uh, if we look at the drawing, uh, some of the pictures, if we don't look at clear, you know, you know, like you may see some differences. But we are taking the pictures as is as he's just drawing. You get it. Some yeah. of them are not finished yet, but we just took it. But now we we just have the finished one. That is why you just saw the pencil. Oh, okay. Man, so okay. his name is pencil. The pencil man. Okay. Well, I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm going to when we put this video out i'm going to overlay some of the pictures from the center because it's it's an incredible okay. job that you've done there and the artwork is, awesome. is fantastic I, I love it it's it's brilliant okay. they've done it you've, you've done a great job and, and it's also i think one one of the one of the things i've really enjoyed seeing actually um abdul is are you with us you still got you sorry um yeah one of the things i've really enjoyed seeing on your twitter stream is the amount of okay. children that are running around now in West Ham shirts and West Ham bags and stuff. I mean, how yeah. how easy is it to get the kind of, the, the, that kind of equipment in Ghana? I mean, can, can you get it sent over from the UK? Is that how you're getting that, that okay. stuff? Or is it people donating things as well? That's what I'm saying. That is the beauty of West Ham. Yeah. Um, our staff are completely not here in Ghana yet. Yeah. So what we do is that because of our work, because of our consistency, when we put out for like, we request that, yeah. Like if you have West Ham stuff that you feel that it's no more fit to you, or you want to dig out, you have the old stock that you want to release, just DM us and they will give you an address. And then yeah, when we get them, then we'll just donate it to the children and then the members. And for the past years that we have been in today now, I think members are responding. When we just put in a request, before realize somebody just come to your Twitter page and then DM you and then tell you that can you get me your address? So all that we are wearing. The children, then the men, then the women are what donations from what various like individuals that we just meet yep. on social media like that. But okay. that's what I'm saying. That is a that, that's just the beauty of West Ham. And then, uh, we are proud of that. And then uh, all what we are doing here is that once the donation comes, it is going to be used for the good cause. Okay. Well, I, I, in that case, what we'll do, I think, at the end of this video is if we we put up an address where people can perhaps send things to. Right. Um, maybe yeah. that'd be a good idea if anyone's got some uh, extra kit that they don't want or, you know, I'm wanting Christmas. Just, just, just to Christmas dig out. Send out. Not only kit, any West Ham related, to anything that is West Ham. Okay. Even anything that is, you know, if it's a shoe, anything that you guys know that when the person gets put it on the body, it's just... All right. We, we've got to time. decorate that centre, haven't we? We've got to make sure it's completely clear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah we, we, we're going to work much. There's still more work to be done, so you right. never know now. So. Okay, good stuff. I wanted to talk to you actually about about some some of you, the players because um, I, if I'm if I'm right, I think at West Ham we've only ever had two Ghanaian players, and and of course yeah, the first was, was John Paintsall um, a few and years Andre. ago, and and, and then of course more recently Andre Ayu, whose brother played yeah. against us uh, at the weekend, and I believe <laughs> he's, cap he's captaining the Black Stars at the uh, African Cup of Nations, isn't he? In a few weeks' time. Yeah, yeah, we did this Sunday, so on the ninth. I think uh, this is a front cup to kick off. And then um, Andre has been one of the most influential black star players that we call. Because yeah. uh, he has been through the under 20. And then uh, he lifted the under 20 World Cup. That is not only uh, not only has he lifted, but that is the first time an African team have taken the World Cup at the 20 level. Yes. So 
Andre was part of it. That was somewhere to come there. Right? So, so, yeah. so he has been through the success. And then you never, you never, you never like, it's just in the blood because the father was a legend, Abedi Pele. He was the, the, this is the, the captain of Ghana. They yeah. took the last Afghan Cup of Nations till now Ghana is not having a cup of nation. Like we have not, I mean, pick up the Cup of Nations uh, medal or the trophy itself. Because yeah. when uh, Pele was there, he, they were the last people to get to get out somewhere nearly more than three decades, more than 30 years now. So the sun is now doing it. Uh, we believe that uh, we have a good team to run to participate in this Afghan. Okay. Well, we we certainly wish you all the best in the uh, yeah. um, in the. Uh, I'm, I'm not forgetting of our own Berama because when we pray, yes. we pray for <laughs> just pray for a yeah. neighbor. Or when yeah, I, I guess players, you've got split loyalties, haven't you? You know. No, no, that is it. I wish Ghana to win it, but uh, if the end of the day, my my Berama is a judge, the best player of the tournament or the yeah. the goal king, I was very good because uh, it's worth some success. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's okay. I mean it's and also it's something that we've seen a lot in. You know, it, I, I'm trying to think actually when the first African players really made it big in the Premier League. I, I guess you, you're going back to perhaps Tony Yaboa or someone like that. Yeah, yeah Tony. Yeah, Leeds United. Uh, he was one of the most exploit. Um, yeah. At this time, that is what I was saying. Uh, did Andre Father was a captain then, and then he was the forward that was, I mean, conquering Africa. And then, you know, yeah. in Germany, he was the first African that I know. Are you true? History is right. Yeah. You have I mean, won the Golden Boot in Germany for entering Frankfurt. You understand? So yeah. he was a big, he was, then he was a big player. Then he moved to Leeds United. And then, if you know, if you go to the Premier League, I mean, greatest, I mean, goals. Yeah. Funny about what goal is, I mean, it's one of the 50 greatest goals in the Premier League. Was he did match for Leeds man, with goals and then that kind of stuff. Yeah. Funny yeah. about is one of the goals. I mean, yeah, he was, he was a great African player. Yeah, the great player. Yeah, a, a great player who scored some fantastic goals yeah. during his career, for sure. And certainly, you know, was a, was a trailblazer for a, a lot of African yeah. players coming over to play in the Premier League. Um, is there, um, talk, talking about Ghanaian players now, and, and forgive me because my knowledge of, of your local players isn't as good oh, as no, it come on, it should wrong. have been, but is there, <laughs> is there any young Ghanaian stars that you think perhaps West Ham should be looking at right now that, that hasn't yeah, perhaps made that, that uh, journey to Europe yet? A lot, a lot, a lot. Um, we have um, currently what we want to even do is that um, uh, Division 2 club here in Ghana yep. by name Tanda FC have just decided to join us to I mean, to promote them in a way that they want to because they, they say they love the way we are doing things so they want us to I mean, partner with them so that we can use our West Ham brand and then brand with them but right. to talk of what the young Ghana players uh, if you look at I don't know whether you follow the Frank League uh, not really. Not not a great deal. Only only when I'm looking yeah. at West Ham is supposed to be yeah, signing. Yeah, yeah. But we have we 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 have one of the fastest players in the world currently. His name is Kamal Din Suleiman. He yeah. is very quick. Yeah, he's he's I mean he's raising numbers in the in the friendly on with Sanerones. If you watch his clip, you know well he was at um my bad um Nogiland. Nogiland. He was in Nogiland. Yeah. So that is where Kudus, we have more Kudus of Ajax, but it's just that injury is certain. So maybe he's, he's not having that kind of play time this time. But okay. Kamal Din is one of the most promote, promote, prominent players that you can have. Yeah. And then uh, we also have one that is, still, he is still in the Premier League down here. But well, Liverpool gets signed him, but you go to Liverpool when he's 18. Right. He's 17 years. He's one of the youngest players, 17 years to what? To go yeah. to this year after. You can watch out for him. His name is Fatawi Sam. Very good on the left. Okay. When he went to the 20, he made a mark for the African between them and the well under 20. He was a guy, one of the best players in the 20 World Cup. You okay. can just you can just watch out for some of these players and they can yeah. be here. They okay, will, so, they so yeah, okay. So we'll, we'll keep an eye out for those guys and just hopefully yeah. one or two maybe turn up at West Ham. Definitely. You never know, because we could we could probably do with a few more Ghanaian players. As I say, we've only had a couple in, in, in our history. Um, but yeah. um, talking about, I mean, coming back to West Ham, um, okay. Now, um, Abdul, talking about this season, I mean, you know, as you said, you've been following West Ham for about 10, 11 years now since, since you first yeah. started taking uh, a you know, closer look at the team. Is, is this for you the best season you've had as a West Ham supporter so far? For sure, this will be the best season. And, uh, uh, you know, it has not been easy being a West Ham fan. It's like yeah. just carrying load on your head. <laughs> and I are there to mock it, to get you mock. But um, uh, the Moise era has been one of the most 
prominent movement of our support base. If you look at uh, when Pellegrini came, we we're thinking that because of his experience and then the age wise, we're going to get things turned around. But yeah. we're trying to rather go back. But Moise came, then left out and then come back. But since he has taken over West Ham, we can see like, um, we are just flying in Europe. But the reason is that we can see space in Europe. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> because we are flying in Europe now and then we are, we are now in the Europa League. Uh, so I'm just having the belief that this is the best season I, as a West Ham fan, is enjoying. And then we are having the best players in the Premier League currently because the Premier League cannot run without you talking about the current rise. The Premier League cannot run weekly, weekly without yeah. you talking about Bowen. So you see that every weekend then you have stories about our players who are right. If Antonio is not scoring, then Rice is performing well. If Rice is not scoring, if Rice is not performing well, you see that Bowen is doing well. So every week, it's other yeah. team of the week, you see one of our two are players there. So, mm -hmm. we are, I mean, we are, we are guess on course and then it's, it's good time to be a West Ham. <laughs> it certainly is. Uh, your your favourite player in, in the current squad, I, I'm guessing it's Mark Noble, but we, we, we yeah, you anyone see, else up there? That's what I'm saying. Uh, when, when you act like this, I'm speaking on behalf of the whole family, the whole Ghanaian family. But I always say my, my, so meaning Abdul, the yep. founding president, different. So everybody have your player that you like because uh, I've been seeing that people are talking about it, right? So whenever we are watching back, people are talking about Bowen, people are talking about Tony when the season started because of the quick scoring that he was scoring. People are also talking about Barama because he's one of us. And then, uh, but me, Mark Noble has inspired me as a person. Yeah. Because when I started this Western movement, I had a lot of people that I would say rejected me. That uh, that feel that I was even mad because. I was writing West Ham anytime, but they would see that why West Ham? But that time, people were scoring us plenty. We we're going down the lane. But it's like uh, when I was looking at the family side of it, so Mark Noble's commitment for these 18 years has proven that the brand I'm holding, I never know today I'll have this kind of interviews. I never know that the, the club would have recognized me. I never know that you can talk to this person. And today it is happening. Meanwhile, yeah. the Chelsea and the Liverpool fans that are all here in Canada, some of them to even connect to the club or to even connect to podcast like this, it's very, it's, I mean, it's, 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 it's not possible. So Mark Noble as a player has inspired me. So he's the best player. I will get say generational. I've watched, I mean, playing because the Canio did his, his own. Others did, Carlton Cole and Cole did, but the thing is that you are looking at consistency and today we are in Europe. And the Europe alone has what give the most credit accolades to what Mark Noble. So for me, Mark, if you're watching me, I don't know. But if you're watching me, <laughs> you've always been the best player and then the inspirational to me. And then I'm trying my best to let the kids know the kind of work he did for the Premier League in the West Ham. Uh, that's, that's a lovely, lovely thing to say. I'm sure he would be delighted um, if he was yeah. to uh, to hear you say that. Uh, of course, uh, uh, it's interesting you, you say that this is the best team you've seen as a West Ham fan. I mean, I, I started following the club uh, when I was very, very young, I was, I was five or yeah, six. Okay. My, my, my father the used family, to take me. Family, yeah. and, and, so, so, excuse me, that's what I'm saying. My kids, I'm, I'm not married yet, but when I grow up with my kids, <laughs> it's something that I'm going to, I mean, transfer. So, <laughs> me, I've not I'm lucky to, to support it for more than in the entire of my life. Yeah. But this is something that I'm going to want. Well, because I, I want to just socialize this with my, my, my kids coming. Or the case in the street of Ghana, so that West Ham basically will be what printed in all kinds of stuff. I, 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 almost, I almost feel sorry for your kids, your future kids already having having to watch West Ham. No, no, like no, no. <laughs> they, they take over, they take over, they take over would help. Because we see, like, we are moving in a good direction. Yeah, we are. While yeah. Tech Billionaire just took about 27% of the shares, we are we are quite prominent that uh, maybe you take, I mean, the total share shareholding, I mean, sport. And then yep. uh, money will flow, and then uh, we're going to get some of the big players to come to the London Stadium. And then play for that. Okay, let's um let's have a quick word before we go about this season. Uh, you know, as as we say, I, I was just going to say that actually, I, I mean, I've been supporting West Ham since I was four or five, and this is the best wow. season I've ever known as well. You know, I, I it, it's it's been a fantastic year so far in, in terms of you know beating the, the big teams it's it's been completely unprecedented so it's it's fantastic but in, in terms of this season um abdul where where, where let, let's have a prediction from you um firstly where are west ham going to finish in the premier league and secondly can we win the europa league or the fa cup okay 
the Europa League have answered the question where we want to be. Um, right. I think if our focus is on the Europa League match, um, I don't think uh, there will be a team that will disturb us as well. Because I want to even ask what to beat Barcelona. But yeah. um, top four is a priority because we just finished a good season last season. And we believe that we have to move a step forward. So to play another European football, that is a Champions League. So, but if we put that mind in our, our, our uh, in the feet of the players, so that they will be performing well, even if we still finish the same spot that we finished last season, but it's able to uh, live the edition of the Europa League, we'll play back to uh, the Champions League. So, I'm looking at that fifth, fourth, I mean, because I know Moise, Moise, Moise would like to, to be in that, in that, because we are now much, sure. since yeah. we are much, we need to just be among the, the best five or the, 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 the best six. So, but, the Europa League is a target for me. And then I'm saying that all my prayers every day is for us to have McNoble have the pitch in the time end, so that he will just lift this Europa League. <laughs> and Wouldn't they'll hang them. But, 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 but the FA Cup, um, I'm looking at the FA Cup. Uh, Fabianski, who is not... I'm seeing Fabianski is considered too much. So, um, Arola, if Arola will be someone who will be in our post, I think yeah, we can have a good team that can play for the FA Cup. Right. For the EFL Cup, we are out. So the yes. FA Cup is something that we have to uh, I mean, stand on our feet so that we can win it. So that we have... Mark Noble must retire this season with the Cup. That is against the old team. So that the Europa be, League was there. Yeah, yeah, for the FA Cup. Something that, that would be awesome. Platform. Yeah, that would, yeah. Be, that would be fantastic. I, I, was, um, I was 10 years old when West Ham last won the FA Cup. It's a long time wow. ago. Long time that ago. Is, <laughs> we need to win it, don't we? It's it's about time, oh, you know. I'd I'd like yeah, to see no. it before before uh you know I fall off this mortal coil. I'd like to see West Ham win the cup. So who knows? Uh, Europa League, FA Cup. I I would quite frankly take either one, as I'm sure most of our fans that's, would. That's, Especially that's, you, you younger guys who've never seen us win. You know anything of note? It's it's been a long time. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We never know, never. But we've got yeah. it on our side. We never. Know. <laughs> Good stuff, good stuff. Well, um, Abdul, it's, it's been an absolute pleasure uh, talking to you today, um, learning a bit more about uh, the Ghanaian Hammers and how you came to be, and also hearing about the, the fantastic work you're doing, spreading the, the, the good yeah. word uh, over there in uh, West Africa. Um, as uh, Abdul was saying, you know, gone from five members 10 or 11 years ago to 360, was it 364, Abdul, now? 364 members, incredible, incredible. From five to 17, from 17. Oh. Amazing, so amazing. Who, who know? So maybe in the year 20, maybe 2025, we're gonna get more than thousand. Hopefully, fingers crossed. And hopefully, <laughs> we've, we've we've got a trophy to celebrate as well before then. That would be, <laughs> that would be nice. But uh, as I yeah. said, I'll put up uh, some pictures uh, just before I go. Abdul, who are these guys behind me in 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 the picture here? Yeah, these are um, people from the Wa. It's part of uh, you know. I am currently based in Accra, the capital city. Yeah, but this is the place we went and opened uh, the this is the McNoble Center. So okay. these are the what's the name? Uh, you can see ladies. If we look at the pictures, there's ladies also in the pictures. Yeah. So we had a lady session and then this is the men session. Okay. So these were people that were ready and dedicated for the past since 2018. I mean, trying to let me know that how passionate they are. So when the chefs came, I guess quickly moved to them and then. We help and then when and open that. Uh, the other ones are also there too. To, to when and open and uh, when and open uh, it's the McDonald's Center. But if you look at the other pictures too, they are also in a different city. Any, any city I go, if it is one second, my brand is worse. Yeah, that's the problem. So I was able to get these guys very dedicated. They are all on social media talking about West Ham, talking about West Ham. Yeah. Their statues are West Ham. Every part of the I mean place they go is West Ham. So these are people that are dedicated. They are not just a mere fan. They are people that can die with West Ham. So this is in Wa. We call that place Upper West Region. Wa. It's yep. one of the cities in Wa, in Ghana. Okay, fantastic. Um, finally, last now, you know question. where they went. They decided to go to a, a mechanic site. What they believe that if you see some of the pictures, they are using the hammer symbols and that. Yeah. Others are. But they believe that you know when the team was forming, it was Team Ios work. So it was this kind of people that were what, operating. Oh, okay. uh, so they went to just do that kind of you know, uh, exhibition to show that this is where West Ham comes from, the root of West Ham. So they want you people to know that they know the root of West Ham. That's why they went to the mechanic site 
to I mean to have this attention. Okay, good stuff. Last yeah. question um, before before we say goodbye. Have you got any plans to uh, visit London and watch the Hammers live in the in the near future? The, that is this is this is a question that always breaks me tears whenever anyone asks me this question. Since Upton Park, that is a bullion ground, it has always been a dream to go and then watch West Ham and see how the structures are. But I never got the chance. Today we are at what? The London Stadium. And still, it's still a dream. My biggest dream and then my biggest achievement in life before I exit this world is to watch West Ham game like this and see how the stadium work so that I can have interactions with what few friends. Yeah. And not only watching the match, I want us when I'm going there to watch, then I can send our West Ham Ghana, Ghana Hamas plan so that we can have a space of it at one of the stands. Maybe if we go to the, uh, uh, you know, Billy Bond stand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Billy Bond have a stand. Maybe we can have a, we can yeah. have our plan there or we just go to any side of uh, the stadium and they just put our plan. So it has always been a dream. And then I know very well that before I die on this end, I'm going to fly from Africa here to go and watch West Africa. <laughs> well, I know it's going to be for one of these days. I'm, I'm sure. But it's I'm something sure. that I've been hoping for the past four years. And then it's going to happen. I I'm have sure. that conviction. <laughs> <laughs> well, if, if and when you do get here, do let us know because uh, I'm sure there'll be plenty of um, uh, local uh, in English-based fans that would be delighted to see you and uh, some of the guys. Um, as you say, you, you know, it really is that the West Ham thing is, is it's a family. Um, it's it's family. an extended family now because we extend all over the world, you know, Africa, Australia, America, of course, we're picking up lots of fans. There has always been a big uh, West Ham contingent in Scandinavia as well. So uh, it's, it's wonderful to see um, guys like you doing, you know, the, the job of uh, spreading the, the good name, spreading the West Ham name uh, worldwide and, uh, you know, bringing more supporters to the club. So thank you on behalf of everyone here for doing that, Abdul. And uh, let's just hope we do have uh, that, that Mark does get the opportunity to lift that trophy, um, you know, no before before he, he hangs up his boots, as it were. And uh, Europa League or FA Cup, we don't really care, do we? We'd take either. But um, we just want to drop for Yeah, <laughs> that's it. We don't, so, we don't mind. We're not fussy. <laughs> yeah, I'm very glad. Thank you for the opportunity given to me. When I saw your message that you want to talk to me, I guess uh, if I'm even on the depth of my bed, if I want to rest, I'm, I'm going to wake up to what respond to it. That's why I was just preparing, waiting for you to come. But I'm very glad to everyone that is watching. Uh, thank you for the opportunity given. I'm Abdul from Ghana, the founding president of the Ghanaian Hub. You can just follow us on Twitter, Facebook. If you are just having your social media handle, just type. If it is Twitter, just say GH Hammers, you see us. If it is IG, Ghanaian Hammers, you see us. If you want to message us privately via our email, you just go to the Ghanaian Hammers. You just see us on there. So everything is on our social media page. You can just visit that. That's it. That's we'll it. Um, so, and thank you very much for the opportunity to us. No, thank you. Thank you. The, the pleasure is all mine. It's been, an, it's been a delight to, to get the opportunity to talk to you. Just to, to confirm, uh, Ghanaian Hammers on uh, Twitter, G uh, at GH Hammers, as Abdul uh, okay. just, just said. Um, give them a follow. It's fantastic stuff. They're, they're always posting lots of pictures, match updates, uh, stuff like that. It's, it's a real uh, fantastic um, stream to follow. So make sure you get on there and, and follow the guys. Um, Abdul, until we speak again, my friend, you take care. And uh, I suppose we've got okay. to do one of those, haven't we, really? Come on, you iron. We're waiting for, come on, yeah, we're waiting for Sunday against Leeds United. So... That's the only match we're now waiting for. So thank you very much. God bless you. And then take care. Then bye for now. All right. You too, my friend. Take care. See you later. Come on, you irons. Come on, you irons. We're here in the offices of a late late show with the host of a late late show, James Corden. Hi. Big West Ham fan. Yes. <laughs> and big knees up, Mother Brown man. Yeah. Yeah, I'm regularly on the general discussion page. There's always someone who's got some information, so I love it, yeah. yeah. It's great. Get on the forum at KUMB.com. Come on, you irons.